Some of the biggest challenges that Emily faces in season two of Absentia is uh, the question of identity. And, uh, and for her, it is truly a shattered identity. This is a character whose um, entire history has been turned upside down and her relationship with all of the people that were very much part of her core uh, group has completely changed and shifted. Um, so I think for this character, what's driving her in the second season is to try to find a new normal and to try to make sure she knows who she indeed is so that she can continue on. It's tragic, but whatever happened to her during those years, it changed her. She's violent, dangerous. I had to speak with a British accent recently in a film and I was very conscious of the fact that I, I was afraid to kind of exit that accent in between um, setups. So I stayed in accent throughout the day and it was the first time that I realized what our English actors go through on absentia. Um, because they all have to, you know, put on uh, an American accent and it's, it's difficult, it's challenging. And I can imagine that taking that to the next level where you're speaking another language entirely, I think it'd be exciting, it'd be really interesting to explore like speaking in, in Spanish or in Portuguese um, for a feature. Uh, just like so many of the wonderful actors that come from this part of the world do when they come to the States and have to speak in English. There's something in this case that connects to me. You're not going to get very far. I don't think people are going to expect a lot of what's going to happen in season two. Um, there's a lot more action this season. Um, every single character is dancing with his or her own morality and sometimes making great choices and a lot of times not. And all of those choices reverberate and affect everybody in the group. Um, of course, we're following the protagonist, which is Emily, but uh, We've got some really juicy stuff for every character in there. 